All right, so follow up here. He lied about why he broke up with her, and she wants to know if she should confront him. Is this a follow up? Or no, is this it's original? new. Okay. <laughs> Who's got it? Hey, Bird Show. I'm a loyal listener from Kansas City. I'm a nurse, and your podcast keeps me awake on my drive home. I have a feeling I know what you're going to say when I tell you I want to confront my ex. You're going to say, drop it and move on. I swear I'm not trying to be an ask hole, but I really want to confront him about his lie. He flat out lied about why he broke up with me. I think the lie irks me so much because he's attempting to be pious and he's freaking not. We dated for almost a year. On Friday, he comes over to my house and he tells me he wants to break up so he can focus on his religion. He can't have any distractions, and though he cares for me deeply, he needs time to get closer to God. I mean, how can anyone argue with that? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a fight you might win temporarily, but not the long run. Yeah, yeah go date Jesus, <laughs> not me. Well, Saturday night, I'm hanging out with some girlfriends, drinking my sorrows away, and one friend says, I can't believe the reason he broke up with you. It seems so petty. Religion isn't really a petty reason to break up with someone, so I ask her to clarify. That's when the entire table got quiet. I said, he told me he wants to focus on his religion. Well, my friend's brother is good friends with my ex, and he told him something completely different. Are you ready for this? He told her brother that he broke up with me because I... <laughs> Because I wiped back to front and he found that disgusting. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. D D WTF. Apparently, I didn't close the bathroom door all the way and it creeped open. When he was walking by, he saw me wiped back to front <laughs> and that women are supposed to <laughs> wipe front to back. Well, that is true, right? It, it, technically, yes. Okay. It is. <laughs> I don't know about disgusting, but you're opening yourself up to all sorts of infections. I'm concerned. <laughs> he was so turned off by that that he broke up with me. I was floored and hella embarrassed that he's going around telling people about my bathroom behaviors. <laughs> so that's why I want to confront him on his B. S. One, to get him to shut his stupid mouth. And two, to call him out for using God to break up with me. <laughs> it's bad. So, I really need to put this guy in his place. Please help. Okay, so he's, uh, he's lying to somebody here. We just don't know which. I think we he's don't lying. Know that. I, I think we know. You, do can we? we assume? I know we're not supposed to assume, yes. but can we please assume... I don't know, because religion sometimes is so taboo with other people that if you tell somebody that you're really getting into your religion, sometimes they judge you, and maybe to get around that, he thought it would just be better just to say, well, she's gross, and she's bordering on an infection every single time she goes to the bed. <laughs> that's, that's a very, very odd specific lie. That is indeed a lie. No, here's the thing. In my church, especially like with the youth group and stuff and when guys are dating, they use God to manipulate manipulate you in two ways. They either say, God told me we're going to be married. Mm. So, and then that's how they think they can trap you into a relationship. Or they say, God told me to break up with you. Because you're not going to wow. argue with God. Yeah, I can definitely see somebody using God as a reason to break up, but I cannot see somebody using the old back to front wife. <laughs> that, that just doesn't doesn't seem like something you would just make up out of thin air. <laughs> Show director Tommy. I just want to hear the guy talking to his other friends like, uh, hey guys, you'll never know how I got pig guy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Okay. Oh. okay. I want God back in the conversation. Yeah. I want <laughs> we all need some God right about now. Um, I don't even know where to go with this. I mean, I think if I'm her, I'm just letting it go. Right. <laughs> What do you get out of really approaching him? I mean, you know that he lied. He obviously didn't want to tell you the truth because, I don't know, maybe he was embarrassed and say, I don't know. But I mean, if you really like somebody you and that's really a concern, don't you just say, hey, you know, this is really weird, but there's, there's something I got to talk to you about. I Reverse your wife? <laughs> <laughs> like, y y your mama didn't teach you something. <laughs> you got to take hold of this narrative fast because if he's already telling your friends about this, yeah. he's going to tell other people. So you need to start the narrative you're so glad you're broken up because he liked to watch you through the bathroom door while you used the bathroom. And you felt it was really weird that he was a peeping Tom. And he demanded that you wipe one way, not the other. <laughs> I, I would say something to him. I would, I would say something and be like, I don't know who you think you are going around talking about me, but you need to shut the hell up. <laughs> I really don't...
Look, using God as an excuse to break up with somebody or stay with somebody to me, I would get really, really nervous about that. You're asking to be smited is what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're asking to get smited. Do you think when God smites you, is it back to front or front to back? <laughs> it's definitely back to front. No one, no buzz in his gun. Me neither. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> the Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get way more of The Burt Show on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.